We had a duty through our road maintenance contracts to deliver essential services. Um, it was a testing time for all, for all of New Zealand. I thought Heap Construction responded really well. Uh, the communication and the overall management was responded quite well. Pretty well as a company. We all worked as a team. So everyone volunteered when it came to doing some essential works outside, outside the office. But in terms of office work, people came in in different timings, kept their distance. Fairly well, I think, considering that's one in a million thing to happen. It's a bit like the 1930s depression. Um, for me personally, uh, my role is nationwide and, and I um, connecting with people is really important. Uh, and, for, and, and being, uh, being stuck at home was quite different. Um, that said, uh, separating work from family whilst in lockdown um, was something I really focused on, which was, yeah, which worked out to be quite a good idea. Yeah, so I found um, the, the initially going into to lockdown quite um, surreal. It was really uh, unfamiliar. I had no frame of reference to what we were going through. Um, so I suppose fear on, on a level um, because it was the unknown in a personal way and also from a work workplace point of view as well. Personally, I felt uh, it, was, it was a bit of a buzz for me. Um, being in maintenance in our industry, we expect the unknown to happen, and being through the earthquakes and, and other things as well, it was, we're kind of prepared for it, but nothing like this. But um, I think the key for me was just having good mental health, a good all-round balance, so making sure I got good exercise, being with my family, and making sure my mind was on the job. Yeah, not bad. It was good. Different. <laughs> just took it in my stride. Yep. Yep. There's not much else you can do with it, you just deal with it. Uh, in regards to health and safety, the protocols, the work we did on protocols as an industry, I thought was, was brilliant. Um, we all came together, we shared, uh, and we managed to get some pretty robust health and safety protocols together very quickly. I learnt that I think we need to be prepared for what we call really the biological hazard and the, bi and the risk that that has within the workplace. And it, it really kind of helped me think about our crisis management approach and um, having considerations around these kinds of risks. The, I've probably got two in mind. The first one was just the mental well-being, so making sure our people were actually okay. You know, did, were they feeling all right? Did they, you know, was they fit enough to turn up for work? Um, that aspect. And probably the second thing was the complacency. So when we're out there um, doing the work or reacting, is making sure that there was no complacency of t in terms of BAU was being managed, but also that not forgetting that COVID was still present, so making sure um, both those elements were, were well balanced. Making sure everyone's all right, checking on their well-being, making sure they're coping with it good. If they needed to talk about it, we're always here to talk, take it out, out of the system. I think people are certainly learning about social distancing, washing hands. I think people have become very conscious of touching their faces. Yeah, people's behaviour's changed, it's, yeah, behavioural. Yeah. And they're still, yeah, still having to adapt now. Yeah. Um, I think the new normal is. I think everybody should have been washing their hands prior. <laughs> but no, uh, it is, there is a lot more um, um, vigilance around that. Um, I think the focus on wellbeing uh, is a good thing? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think it's a new normal. Um, having people, I, I think, with a level of fear and anxiety around the unknown, around um, e e even sort of, you know, how close do I, can I get to someone or can I approach that person or, or not, you know? I, I think it's put us in a, in a state of flux. Personally, yes, I think it is. We've taken a lot of learnings um, and it just shows we don't have to be based in one area. We can work remotely, and I think the trust within the team, in my team, um, we all pulled through. So, yes, the new normal.
not at the moment, not really. <laughs> not what, with, with what's happening around the world. Um, but I think New Zealand's one of the countries that are coping with it the best in terms of globally, so yeah. No, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. No, definitely not. Oh, people are dying. We're ready for it. Um, it's interesting, we, we got the news this week uh, on going back to level two and it has everybody sort of brushed, uh, brushed the dust off. We've got out our respective protocols and people know what to do. So it has um, certainly been quite good in that regard, but I guess there is some anxiety around, you know, when will this ever, when will this ever stop? Initially when I heard, I was gutted. You know, I felt a bit angry and a bit annoyed. And so I kind of had to work through that just within myself and somewhat in the middle of the night when the um, alert went off. Now, I suppose I, I, I just have, have sort of accepted that this is what we have to do. And it's a little bit more familiar. So not quite as much fear um, within the workplace. We're just slotting back into, the, into what, we, what we established um, the first time round. We're well prepared. Uh, we've taken a lot of learnings from when we dealt with actually level four and three. And from those learnings, we've made sure that it actually fits for our whole team. So making sure that the communication was, was working, uh, the check-ins were regular enough, and all around in general that um, there was nothing that didn't work that we won't um, use for next time. Yeah, not that great, not that great. Um, I hope it doesn't go, for the, go further than what it's what's happening out up in Auckland. So yeah, no, not really a good sign for us. Probably not as bright as last time. I think this time it's gonna bite home for a lot of people. Businesses are gonna go bust. Uh, last time when we came back, a lot of our subcontractors had, had sort of folded up. Um, I think this time it could be a lot worse. The fact that industry got together, uh, connected through many, many mediums to tr create the protocols that we've got and the ongoing work and connectivity we have now is something that's really uh, improved greatly through this. I think there's also sort of a richness came into it around connecting with each other within the fear, within the unknown. Um, so that was almost at a level that we don't usually relate to other people. Just be there for one another, really. And if you need to talk about it, just come and talk to us. That is pretty much it, and just keep safe, really. I think, personally, when I looked around our neighbourhood, it was great to see families spending more time together with their kids and out actually doing things together. Um, Work-wise, I think it made people value their colleagues more, um, because I think people actually missed the work environment. They missed working with with the co-workers. So I think they value their work, their co-workers more. One hundred percent, probably the technology aspect. Um, got a couple of uh, our guys where technology is not their best friend, and um, it proved to them and probably to me as well is that you know the technology there actually works, and if anything, it probably brought us closer together. Um, in terms of the regular contact and FaceTiming as well. So not just being on the phone and talking verbally, but actually seeing them face to face was, was gold. And you know, you can tell on a person's face that they're okay or that they're not okay. Um, so that was a good, good goal for me.